What's going on guys, my name is Renegade, today we're here to discuss perhaps the most controversial topic I'll ever discuss on this channel, and that is botting. Now, it might come to some surprise to some of you who are familiar with botting and the communities and such involved, that it is a controversial topic. And the reason why it's controversial is because botting has sort of formed its own separate community within the overall AQW community. But before you get into that, I'll just, I'll quickly go over what a bot actually is, but if some of you aren't clear on that. So essentially, if you're unfamiliar, a bot in AQW is a program that you download that'll play the game for you. Essentially how it works is you log into your account, you get into the game, and there are buttons that once you click the button, it'll play the game for you, essentially. I personally haven't downloaded a bot program before. I don't want to do it in this video just because it's kind of risky and AQW bans people for really stupid shit sometimes, so... But that's pretty much what it is. It plays the game for you, and so there's there's very... Uh, it's, it, that obviously seems like a very negative thing on the surface, but it goes quite deep. And uh, there's a lot more that, that you need to take into account when uh, forming your opinion on the matter. So what I'll be doing today is exp explaining the community divide, why people bot, A's perspective, and then finally I'll be finishing off the video with my own perspective. So, first of all, botting divides the community. Or rather, another community has formed as a result of botting. So, because botting is seen as a very negative thing by some people, botting is seen as a sort of a, a cheating sort of a way to play the game, I guess. You're, you're essentially, you're doing what others have to work hard for. Um, and I totally understand that perspective. I understand that people are annoyed at botting because they do, bots do what others have to work hard to do. And so, yeah, it's a, it's a very, um, a very negative thing for a lot of people. And I understand that perspective. Let's look at some other videos that other YouTubers have made where they've discussed botting. So we'll look at Maxi Jack and Ray's video on the matter. Both videos um, are quite good and they explain their purposes, um, their perspectives very well. And so let's let's first of all look at the like to dislike ratios in both these videos. So Ray's video has 11,500 views and it has 120 likes and, and uh, 85 dislikes. So that's a very sort of divided like to dislike ratio. You can see clearly a big portion of people have liked it, but also a big portion of people have disliked it. Not quite 50-50, but close. But next, let's go to Maxi Jack's video. So he has 40,000 views, and he has 600 likes, and about 300 dislikes. So it's it's a bit more in favor of Maxi Jack here. His, his ratio is slightly better. It slightly more favors the, I guess, anti-botting perspective. Now, both these videos are anti-botting, keep in mind. So the, the important thing to note here is there is a large community of people who have seen this video and have said, I disagree with that opinion, I am disliking this video. And to me, at, initially when I saw this reaction, when I first saw these videos, I was surprised that it wasn't just everyone liking the video, everyone agreeing. I honestly had no idea that there was a big community of people who um, who did do all this. I thought botting was a, a much less widespread than it, than it is. Obviously, since since a uh, time when I was ignorant like that, I have learned more about, you know, how many people bot, and you can kind of get an idea of what percentage of the player base does it. For example, uh, Corey, in my Q&A video with myself, Corey, and Ray, um, brought up the point that when the servers go offline, and they're offline for an extended period of time, and then they come back on again, you know, when they're making a game release, or they're just restarting the service, or whatever. I, he, I, I think he mentioned that bots can't log in automatically, and so the portion of players that re-log back in are the ones that didn't, that weren't botting, and the portion of players that didn't log back in are the ones that aren't botting. And he said, I think it's around 30%, I think is what he said. The important point is, there is a large player, there is a large community out there that, that do botting. Now, also one thing to, to mention is, b people who bot are more likely to be using search terms like botting on YouTube, and so people who bot are more likely to discover um, Ray or Maxi Jack's videos on botting, so that's that's one important point. But both Maxi Jack and Ray made very anti-bot videos. They clearly said, you know, I think Ray mentioned that there's a risk associated with it, um, you're lazy if you bot, you shouldn't do it. And Maxi Jack said you know, pretty much the same thing. You're lazy, it's, uh, it's cheating, and uh, it's ruining the community. Those are very strong opinions to have, and uh, it's it's important to note how much uh, backlash they got for it. And so, in the, let's look at Ray's comment section. I think there's some interesting comments. So, first of all, a, a person by the name of Yusuf Rogue make, made a comment what caught, saying "interesting," which caught my eye. I was like, "Why is this guy getting so many likes?" So, I, I went to this guy's channel, Yusuf Rogue, and this guy has 12,000 subscribers, and he has built his entire channel off of botting. That's just his his thing that he does. You know, I, my channel I built off of making um, in depth class guides. He's known for botting and botting tutorials and stuff. So that's his stuff, and his most popular uploads are 
video is like a bright oak rep robot, um, rank 10 in 15 minutes, and that sort of thing. So, you know, you get the normal staples of what makes a video a video. You know, you've got the clickbait, you've got the uh, the big bold thumbnails. It's just a normal YouTuber, except his videos are on botting. And he's got a large community off of it. You know, if pretty much all of his videos have over 10k views, and some of them reach like, you know, like 30k, 40k, 100k sort of view counts. So he's got a big community off of just botting. And so he comments on Ray's video and says, interesting, and that's got quite a few upvotes. And then another comment, which I think is interesting, is someone said, download link, question mark. So obviously that's satire, clearly, but there are some people in the community that are ignorant. They, they don't realize botting's a thing. And they'll be watching this video or Ray's video, and they'll still think, you know, or they'll, they'll be, it'll be their first exposure to botting. Now, I don't think there's many people like that, to be honest, and I think that comment mostly has upvotes because it's, it's funny, but... The next comment down is an interesting perspective that I'll be discussing a bit later, um, and that is, uh, the word comment is, it's really rude, and so, I mean, obviously he said it in a very rude and offensive manner, but he said, well, fuck you, Lebot is awesome because repping is so fucking hard, and Lebot makes it kind of easier, and not everyone can spend money in games like you fuckers with no life. Try to think of us like common f players before you make a dumbass video. By the way, I haven't watched the video yet, so it's just my opinion on the title. Haters can go fuck themselves. So, obviously very rude. Why would you make it, why would he call the video dumbass if he hadn't watched it yet? But yeah, he brings up a good point, which is not everyone can spend money in games like you fuckers with no life. Now, obviously very rude, but, and obviously you shouldn't comment like that. If you want to, if you want to, by the way, if you want to get your perspective across and you want to actually engage in constructive conversation about your opinion, then please by all means leave a comment, but don't be rude about it. Um, just, just state your opinion, I guess, and to say, yeah, I agree with you, Renegade, I disagree with you, I agree with Ray, I agree with Maxi Jack, I agree with Yusuf. You might be on the other side of the fence. You never know. But either way, this guy says um, says that not everyone can spend money in games. And so that's an interesting point. Um, and so let's go over why people bot. Um, because this, this it's quite a common theme through the uh, comment section of this video. And so... Let's go, let's go over why. So, obviously, the, the biggest reason is laziness. Well, not necessarily laziness, but a dissatisfaction with gameplay. You could say, you could, you could describe it as laziness, but honestly, I'm lazy as well. Everyone's a bit lazy. And a way that uh, MMORPGs tend to counteract this is they make their gameplay fun. And they make their gameplay interesting, and they make their gameplay challenging. And this counteracts players with the, um, who get bored. And so... You obviously can't make every situation thrilling and fun and inspiring and really just amazing to play, but by nature, AQW is a very grindy game, and so it means that AQW is very boring. And on top of that, AQW uses a very basic class system, a very basic um, like ability system, and the combat is very basic as well. When you fight monsters, it doesn't change. Nothing is, uh, is causing you to think about what you're doing, and so as a result, you don't need a human brain to play AQW. You don't need to make human decisions. You, you, all you need to do is uh, make a very linear decision. You know, it's, do I click this button or this button? And a computer can make that decision. Um, a computer can be programmed, in a, in, and when I say computer, I mean bot, of course. A bot can be programmed to make the decisions that you would be making. And so, it's a matter of AQW not being very complex, so players are dissatisfied. And I made a poll on Twitter uh, recently where I said, do you have fun when you're playing AQW? And uh, then I went on to say, like, you're sitting there fighting a monster and you're genuinely having fun. So I'm talking specifically about combat. And I ran the poll and the options were yes or no. So you do have fun or you don't. And uh, it was 50% of people said they didn't have fun when playing AQW. They, they are dissatisfied with the gameplay. And that that's a, a big portion of the player base on my poll at least, that says that they uh, aren't satisfied with the gameplay. I'm not in the minority when I say that AQW is a pretty boring game to play. And so it is. it does make sense then that players would think, you know, I'm going to just bot so I can ha do all the, funds, the parts of AQW that make it enjoyable. You know, the community, the items, the hype behind releases, you know, the new classes coming out. All that sort of stuff is, is you know, it's great. I love that part of it. And, you know, the art style is fun to look at and all that sort of thing as well. And you might enjoy the storylines as well. But if you want to get items and you want to have that side of things, then it's quite boring. And so I totally understand why someone might sit there and think, you know, I'm just going to skip all this by, um, by botting. And so from AE's perspective, they could simply f uh, fix a lot of the botting problem, not all of it, obviously, but they would make a, uh, a significant dent on the botting population and maybe fix new players 
deciding to bot by simply making AKW challenging and interesting to play. Um, most other, a lot of other MMORPGs don't have botting problems because they have um, they have gameplay that requires you to actually think, that requires human decision making. It's not linear, and it does change from time to time, and so you can't just sit there and say, I want the bot program to use abilities 2, 3, 4, 5 in that specific order over and over again. It's a difficult problem for AE though, I, I honest, I'll explain AE's perspective a bit later, but just just right off the bat, you know, it's, it's difficult for AE, and it's incredibly um, difficult for players as well, and so it's a it's an important conversation to have, I suppose. But yeah, that's that's the first first thing. Dissatisfied with gameplay is the first reason why people are botting. Also, the other reason, which kind of ties in, um, is what the guy in the comment section said. He said specifically, no, not everyone can spend money in games like you fuckers with no life. So clearly, he's dissatisfied with the fact that AQW has uh, monetary incentive to make items hard to farm. So. What I mean by that is, let's take Stone Crusher for example. It's quite a difficult class to, quite a time-consuming class to farm. Not necessarily difficult because difficulty and time-consuming are separate. I, I do try and treat those ideas as separate, but anyway, Stone Crusher is a time-consuming class to farm, and it does require a uh, a lot of dedication to get it. Not not the hardest thing in the world, obviously, but it's it's a bit of dedication, and. Um, you can also purchase Stone Crusher for 2,000 adventure coins. So you can spend real money, or you can put your your uh, time and effort into it. And so let's look at AE's perspective from from on this specific point. Then, if AE wants to make the most money possible, what are they going to do? Make Stone Crusher easy to farm, or make it hard to farm? They're going to make it really like time consuming to farm, right? They're going to make it as time consuming as possible, so that people are more likely to think, "I'm just going to skip this by buying it." So the player in the comment section of Ray's video that I'm that I'm quoting is essentially expressing his dissatisfaction for the fact that you are having a lot of AE has got genuine incentive to make stuff time consuming, right? Even with something like Void High Lord, Void High Lord you can't buy with ACs directly, but you can buy farming pets for ACs that make it easier to farm um, Void High Lord. So for, for example, I used um, Crag and Bamboozle. A bit of drudgeon and a pet of mine, which costs 2,000 ACs. It's an orb pet. So all in all, I, I had 12,000 ACs worth of pets that I was using to farm Void High Lord. That's a lot of ACs that I that I would have uh, would have probably probably spent anyway just to farm Void High Lord quicker, so I could get my video out quicker. Um, but whereas if Void High Lord was a uh, a easier class to farm, you know, it took less time, then I probably would have just farmed it with or without buying those pets. And so AE got money out of me because they made Void High Lord time consuming to farm. So this guy, yeah, he's he's got a point. He's got a point. It's a it's a there's monetary incentive for AE to make stuff difficult or make stuff time consuming to farm. But let's look at AE's perspective on this. AE is a small company. They need the money. AKW is their biggest source of income by far. I mean, they could they probably get some revenue from ads on their websites, and they probably get some revenue from AQ3D now, um, and they probably get a bit of revenue here and there from their mobile games and from Dragon Fable and AQ. But AQW is a big, a, a much larger game than all the rest of those those games. So their biggest source of income is AQW, and let's look at the player base of AQW. It's, it's it is declining. It's not growing. AQW is by no means getting larger as a game. I think it's it's sort of it's not like it's plummeting rapidly, but it is people are dropping off one by one, and so by no means is AQW becoming more monetarily stable for AE. It's becoming less monetarily mon monetarily stable. So AE is trying to improve AQW with stuff like the server rewrite. They're trying to improve the situation by making new games like um, you know what's what are their mobile games? Battle Gems, Bio Beasts. They're making uh, AQ3D. And they're making AQW available on mobile with the server rewrite. They're making AQW a much better game with the server rewrite. They're trying to improve the situation by bringing new players in so they don't have to make Stone Crusher cost 2,000 ACs and make it difficult or whatever. Their, their perspective is, we're running a company, we've got staff we need to pay, we've got costs for running the game, we've got costs for making games, um, but we can't afford it because... Our, our games are so small and our, our dev team we need to pay them and so it's 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 a very difficult situation for AE as well it's like I, I do sympathize with AE definitely with on this matter um, and I totally sympathize with AE on the matter of AKW being boring as well it's it started off in 2008 as a four ability uh, MMORPG 
and it hasn't been able to evolve since then because they've evolved the game in, in any significant amount. So it's still, you know, a 2008 or 2009 browser game. So they are trying to evolve it and they're trying to make it better, but it's taking time because they have a small dev team. And yeah, it's, it's just a very difficult situation for all parties involved, honestly. It, it, just to come back to botting, it's just a... It's a, it's a difficult situation for everyone because on one hand you got the players who are bored of, of you know, repeating the same abilities over and over again who, who aren't challenged when playing and so they just kind of bot because it's it's uh, easier than wasting my time playing a boring game but they still want to, you know, be involved with it because there are other reasons to, to stay with AQW other than gameplay. But then again, you know, you got the players out there who are like, well, I've just spent my life farming Void Highlord and you can just bot it? Like, that's not fair. And so, yeah, they're right. It's not fair. And so... My opinion on the matter is that AQW is boring and it, it's it's kind of money whoring a little bit, which sucks for players, but it also sucks for AE, and so that's a difficult situation. So I kind of sit, sit somewhere in the middle. I'm overall, I'd say AQW would be better off if they didn't have bots. Bots encourage players to to not actually play even if it is fun because at the end of the day you are just getting shit for free so it's it's pretty it's pretty attractive as an as a concept but like it is it is populating the game with players that aren't actually players so that's bad for the game it's it that is at the end of the day a bad thing for the game um because obviously the AE wants players in their game. They want actual people who are playing their game that can give feedback on releases, that can, you know, interact with others and make other people's experiences more fun by interacting with them. And just a game full of robots is not good. So I am against botting, but um, I totally understand all perspectives on the matter. I totally understand why someone might bot. I totally understand why it's bad for AE. I totally understand why he does a a e does some of the things that they've done, and I totally understand why AQW is boring. Um, but yeah, it's just it's a tough situation overall, which is why videos like this get lots of dislikes and get um, bombed by various toxic people. But yeah, that's that's basically that's basically it, guys. I'd love to continue this this, this discussion in the comment section down below. So uh, yeah, just leave a comment with your opinion on the matter, and hopefully we can have some constructive conversation rather than that guy on. Ray's video was incredibly rude. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.